Every day they have, um, on the foot of, of the courthouse, they have uh, the investors uh, coming for, to buy for up foreclosures. They have websites that announce what houses are being foreclosed upon, the addresses, how much the, uh, the minimum bid on them, and people have to come with cash or, or cashier's checks that they pay. So you have these investors who come and uh, the, if they buy a house, you know, they take the house and then the person has 20 days uh, after the eviction sale in which to move or, or they're evicted. So um, there was one of the women in Cause Adjuster who was having, um, or she thought, a foreclosure sale that day. So we, a number of us came out there to support her. Uh, and as it turned out, her, her um, sale was canceled, it was postponed. So, but she was there, she met with us. And it's just amazing, you know, the, all these pe people who are buying these houses on foreclosure and uh, there are books about how do you buy houses on foreclosure. And people don't realize the, the other side of it is the, the pain and the suffering of the people who are losing their homes in this process. And people can't do very much about it. Occasionally people can come, they can buy their homes. Many people are walking away from their homes because their homes are underwater. But if it, possibly in a foreclosure sale, they might be able to get it back at, at a lower price than they originally had. Uh, if they had paid the mortgage. So there's some strategy involved in uh, how to deal with it. The, the basic strategy that many people do is what I would have done if I hadn't sold my house, is you just hang on there until they have a foreclosure sale. And some people have been there for over uh, a year, over two years, waiting for the banks to sell their homes. And if their homes are underwater and the banks are so backed up with foreclosure uh, documentation, some, sometimes they lose, it, they lose it, you know, they have to start again. But they're so backed up that um, it takes a long time for the sales to go through. So, uh, so basically I have a bankruptcy attorney representing me and one of the things he had advised me to do, which is something that others could do too in the, if they're in that situation, is just you know, proceed with a loan modification, don't assume that you're going to get it, and just do everything you can to delay the whole process. And uh, so meanwhile, uh, it can take about a year for the foreclosure, then as soon as they announce the sale, you have about 20 days to uh, correct it or it goes to sale. In that period of time, then you file for bankruptcy. What that does is it stops the whole sale process. And so then what can happen is that it can take about six months to a year to resolve the bankruptcy. And so it buys you time. And meanwhile, you're not paying your mortgage. Uh, you're not paying your credit cards because at this point you know that's, you might as well not pay them and so you can keep that money save that money and then uh, you know, when you go bankrupt you might be able to use that to to buy another house or to buy to rent something uh, in, in bankruptcy you're allowed to have twenty three thousand dollars in liquid cash and then you know other day-to-day -day kinds of things that you're expected to use so they might not take that from you so you kind of Put yourself in a situation where you can get back on your feet again, and so so that's something that somebody who's about to lose their home can do, and just stay there rather than you know just panic and leave right away. You get this foreclosure notice, and so you immediately start thinking, "Well, I have to leave. Where are you going to go?" But particularly if your house is underwater, there's not a lot of incentive for the banks to sell right away. The other thing that also happens, uh, there's a, a growing trend now to go to short sales. And uh, a short sale is basically the bank agrees uh, with, uh, with a real estate person to put it on the market at less than its, its value and basically get the market value of it. So say you had a house that at one time was worth about a million dollars, which is what my house was worth at one time. So maybe, maybe the price has gone down to about 600000 for the house. So uh, you know the banks might agree to sell it for that rather than say they're holding a note for 800000 when they, you know, they're not going to be able to get that. So rather than foreclose, they might do a short sale. And again, short sales can last a long time because people might not immediately want to buy a short sale. They may, you know, it's a bargain, but they also have to come up with all the cash right away. So mm -hmm. they, they can't get a loan to cover a foreclosure. They have to just you know, come with the money in a check, cashier's check or mm -hmm. Uh, or uh, actual physical cash. Another thing is to talk to a bankruptcy attorney because you want to strategically plan 
how you want to, um, uh, you know, either sell your house or go into short sale or just stay in your house as long as you can.